Where's Bob Kelly? He's smoking. He's coming up now. All right. A lot of people asking the same question, so I'll give my coded answer. Uh, yeah, no, we're not, but we just don't really care. <laughs> what? See? Wait. It's a, like this one over here. No, I'm going to try to figure it out. What's the code answer? Um, no, we're not, but we just don't care. No, we're not. But we just don't care. Um, no, yeah. we're not. But yeah, we right just there. Don't care. This guy right here. Now I have to look. Ugh. Which one? Does playing this uh, mean that? Oh, oh! Yeah. See. Ah. Yeah, we just don't care. We just don't care. So. But that means you really do care. No, I, I, honestly, <laughs> in this case, we don't care. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. We're done with Sarah. Mm -hmm. People want to hear the banana song again. <laughs> no. Ring, ring. Uh, how does it go? I don't know. Hold on a minute. Well, this a is much louder. more important than talking to Bob Kelly. Trust me. Oh, nice. No. Hey, Bob. Oh, I didn't know you were in Hope here. Oh, you fucking... <laughs> Figure out, you like, can't be angry listening to that we gotta song. Figure oh, yes, out, you can. <laughs> every day, just before we go to the phones, we yeah. have to just play a clip of this. You got to get the other part where he goes, banana food. That's the beginning, right? Yeah. Right here. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Right there, every time. That's hysterical. <laughs> It'll drive everyone nuts, and that's our job on this program. It really will ring, be a... Ring, ring, ring. A pickaxe in the ear. <laughs> really? That is horrible. That's when we talk, uh, take phone calls from Chocolate City. We'll play what that. a happy tune that is, though. <laughs> oh, gee. you know, <clears throat> you want to join Rick Delgado. Yeah, no, that was bad. Banana food. Banana food. Banana food. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, Bob. Bob. You know what? Go Pat's ghoul. Uh, uh, you, you had me sitting out there. Trust me. Fucking... Trust me, we know what An we're doing. Hour and a half. Trust me, was it we that know what long? we're doing. It was no. like, I was. I, wow. we, no, it's a half hour with Master Poe in 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 prison now. Yeah. Because he actually takes your your mug shot against the wall. And Does he really? Up. Yeah, you have to. Why is he, he took taking my mug everyone's shot. pictures? For what? Unless Why? he wants a photo. And then sitting on that. Could you get a books or something or something out in that little thing? Aren't I'm, they as comfy as like airport waiting? I feel like I'm waiting for chairs. the dentist. There's nobody out there. I'm just a lonely ass looking in at you guys giggling and laughing and then five minutes later actually hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and every once in a while you hear Bob Kelly and I get excited and then you're on to something else. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, holy shit, I really am nothing in this business. And, we, and we then are bad. I, I really, if I would, oh. we just felt like you had nothing to offer as far as well, what if, we were doing at that time. Do I need time. to be fat and talk about XXL over and over to sit in the room? Can I just sit on the couch and listen? But that is was very funny. Not him, fat Ralphie May. Oh, Ralphie. <laughs> That's oh. right. XXXL. We, we got a lot of fat, uh, you know, friends of the show. I, I don't know. I just want to, can I, next time, can I just sit on the couch and just be part of, I won't even talk into the mic. Just sit there. I see um, no problem with that. Mm, We'll think about it. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I, you know what? We'll think about it. I really... Oh, Opie, you are a... You, you know I still I, want to kick your dog, right? Why would you want to kick my dog? It's a it's little what he silky. Does. We were at it's the, all he does. We were at the Brooklyn Diner after Bob Kelly's last appearance, and I, I just casually said, can I kick your dog? Not hard. I just want to tap it. Just annoy it a little bit. Bring back memory. Oh, just oh, a little bit. Not enough to hurt it. Just enough to just like... My dog it weighs nine pounds. <laughs> I know. There's, there's no way you have that much control in your foot just a tiny to kick little, it a little tiny bit. I just want to poke it. Just Why? Do you want to poke it so it doesn't even notice or, or just give enough, that little... No, just in, not even that. Just enough where the dog is just annoyed. Annoyed a little, a little at you that you did that? Yeah, I just like... I like where to, he turns his head and looks <laughs> up at you like, hey, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not going to kick my dog, you ass. Just a little. What's wrong with you? Just a little bit. You're sadistic. <laughs> These dogs are nice. We we talk, Jim Norton loves my... We the, talked the, about the, this for like 20 minutes at the Brooklyn Diner, and I was dead serious. Just a little tap. The He's little, crazy. The little Jimmy loves my little dog, and my little dog loves Jimmy. The, the dog does love me. I can't allow it to be kicked. I, really? I sent that video to uh, Steve. Actually, Did you? This jackass came to my house after the show and fell asleep, and he's snoring on my couch. Yeah. 
So I get my video camera out and I'm taping him snoring. And then I look at my dog and who loves Jimmy and he's just staring at his crotch. So I pan down. This creep has a full-fledged rod while he's sleeping. <laughs> a pair of sweats. On a pair of sweats. And my dog's just staring at it like a rat, like a little toy. Like he's dying just to bite it. I was so appalled. I'm just like, ugh. Oh. And then I wake him up and he's like, that sleep, sleep apnea. <laughs> And then he just goes right back to sleep. <laughs> I don't like the fact that you put off your homoerotic stare at my mule on the dog <laughs> while the dog was looking, and the dog directed me to look. The dog went, Psst, Bob, look. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that video, Steve? Oh, uh, got to see that. Yeah. It's, it's awful. Is it, or, 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 is it funny? You can really tell he's, he's sporting and all that? Ah, he's, yeah, 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 I've he's, seen that. Norton, Norton's got, a, he's got an all right size mule. I mean... It's pretty. It's pretty good. And he has sweatpants on, and you just see my dog staring at his cock. And then he looks up at me, and he's like, "Why?" The dog should have just lunged and bit into it. Oh. How funny would that be to catch on tape? Uh, not, not particularly. If I can voice an opinion. <laughs> no, for the people watching. Banana phone. Let's go to the phone, Anthony, whoop, whoop, and talk whoop, to whoop, 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 uh, Banana in the Sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to Kev TV from Whack Bag. Kev TV, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. What's Very going good. on? Uh, yeah, I sent that song to Steve C. I figured that song was bothering me for about the past week or so, so why not bother every single ONA listener? Really? Where'd you get oh, it from? The absolute worst thing you could ever imagine to listen to. Like, I've heard it one time, and it's been in my head for about eight days. <laughs> you just go so, around, and ring, 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 ring. Where'd you get it from? Oh, uh, a friend of mine named Dan sent it to me. Like, he just sent it to me. He's like, oh, dude, check this out. This is the best song of a year. So I play it, and I'm like, um, this is awful. But I just listen to the whole thing just, uh, just to spite him. And then <laughs> that's it. Sticks in your head. Very good. Uh, right. The Thanks. worst. So uh, enjoy, and I hope you uh, bother everybody with it. Uh, we will. Uh, thank you, Kev. Uh, we invited Bob Kelly in here because he was telling us a great story at the Brooklyn Diner, and I'm like, why didn't you tell that on the air? What was it? I don't, yeah, um, don't want to give it... Don't give it away, Opie. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Oh, this just in. Banana Phone is up on foundrymusic.com. Thank God, Steve. Thank God. Well, I figured you were going to ask anyway. So. I know. There you go, Steve. Atta boy. Hey. Um, it was the, the porn story. Oh, with the chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last year. Well, you, no, you guys weren't. You were out there last year when you were hosting <laughs> the AVN. Hold on a minute. Sorry. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. People who just started listening to the show go, all right, why do they keep playing it? It's annoying. That's the point, stupid. Just whistling it. It's wonderfully catchy. Says that in the song. Ping, 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 ping. That's the noise. Uh, uh, I stink. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. That that poopy dooby doop. That's the noise Minnie Pearl makes when you rape her with a stick. Ping, pong, ping. Ping, pong, ping, pong, ping, pong, ping. Oh, oh shit. Well, who doesn't love Oof. it? Uh, <laughs> that is a great song. <laughs> oh. uh, no, it's the story that just shows what kind of a creep you are. I was at the uh the I was doing a Maxim party last year and at, during the AVNs. You were over at the Venetian, I was over at the Palms. January two thousand and four. Yes. And uh at the Maxim party I was supposed to host this like you know sexy chick stupid contest that's rigged and we had all these girls there and all these porn people were there actually uh jeff garcia from he was on the 49ers back okay, then yeah sure and uh giambi was there Ooh. and jeff garcia got totally smashed and we had this big competition for these girls and they were going to sing and dance all these beautiful dummies Jeff Garcia, every time a girl came out, was so trashed. He'd come over and just rub his balls over <laughs> their faces. And, 
<laughs> and the and all these other all these other forty ers were there, the linebackers and shit. So you really we couldn't say anything to them. Wow. You know Jeff Garcia. You know we I could probably push him around a little bit. Yeah. But all the guys just yeah Jeff go and he's dancing. He's just rubbing his he's balls. Cheering on a rape. And the <laughs> oh, the poor, animals. The poor girl is just kind of like trying to do a sexy dance on the floor, and she kept looking up, and there's Jeff's balls, oh. and she just kind of froze. Like what do I do? She's on the banana phone. Uh. <laughs> Ring 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 banana phone. Get it off ring, my ring, ring, face. Ring, 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 banana phone. You like it, you silly bitch. Uh, Karen, that banana phone's all we had. <laughs> they were gonna hear it ring, Henry. <laughs> you got the cell phone, the regular phone, the banana phone in the middle going. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> he was using banana phones two at a time. Players couldn't get a call at the table. <laughs> Your son is attempting to use a banana phone. <laughs> Not to bring an outside party into this situation. <laughs> ah, oh, my size. Oh, ah, a banana phone, a banana phone user. <laughs> You like banana phones, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hurt one digit on his goddamn phone. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> ring, oh, ring, ring, God. Ring. Uh, Love it. So anyways. <laughs> back to Bob. Yes, back Bob. to... Back to my fucking story. <laughs> uh, uh, so she, he's so rubbing I'm, junk. Yeah. So whatever. He's fucking. There's all these porn stars there, and I saw one. She had these huge boobs. I forget her name, but she had these unbelievable boobs hanging out. So she actually walks up to me. She goes, "Great job, a stupid show I did." So I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." I, you know, I I usually don't do this. I do comedy shows. You know, she goes, "Oh no, I'm a big fan," uh, which never happens to me. I never get a a, a girl. Never mind a chick with huge tits in Vegas go, I'm a fan. Right. You know, I'm a fan just doesn't happen that much unless it's, you know, you know, some fucking intern from the ONA show might go, hey, I heard you before. <laughs> but it's never a chick, so I'm like, get out of here. And I'm thinking she, you know, saw me with Norton or somebody else or Dane. Right. You know, the story of my life. Yeah, I saw you open for somebody. So uh, She didn't go, not you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Not you. you. Do you know how many IMs I get now? Hey, man, great job. And then I go, thanks. And they go, not you. <laughs> it, it hurts even in text. <laughs> and they put capitals. Oh, of course uh, they do. Exclamation points. Uh, they <laughs> suck. So I'm like, really? She goes, yeah, I saw you on uh, Tough Crowd. And, you know, I, I, I really am a big fan of yours. I'm like, wow, that's great. And, uh. Listen, so, listen what he decides he needs to well, say now. In oh, my oh. head, there's two ways to go about it. I'm either going to try to get her up to my, you know, hey, let's hang out, or she's a porn star. Right. I'm, I'm thinking that I just go for the, you know, why don't we go up to my, uh, why don't we go up to my room? I just, you know. Go right for it. Right, go yeah. right for it. So I say, go right for it. Be confident. So I says, listen, you know, she... I go, uh, listen to this. she goes, you know, do you have any CDs? I go, yeah. As a matter of fact, I got CDs up in my room. <laughs> Good move, she, good move. So she goes, oh, so far, really? So good, yeah. She didn't, you know, so I go, why don't we go upstairs? You know what I'd love to do? Uh-oh. I go, let me just cut to the chase. I just want to go upstairs and maybe eat your ass and you lick my ass. That's all I want to do. <laughs> That's all I want. Right? And, I, and and you're thinking, because this is normal, because she's a porn star. Right. She's a porn, like, porn star. stars do anything, Of anytime. course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean you're you do do this for a fucking living, right? Exactly. So I'm like, and I le and I I I, I kind of leaned in and whispered in her ear, and I kind of leaned back out to all look at her sexy, face, all look sexy, at her right? face. And she's like, I don't think so. <laughs> and I was like, Well, you know, you know, I'm just maybe I'll just you know I can just maybe lick your ass. It's all I want to do. <laughs> and I'm starting to try, and she's like, I don't know, I don't think so. I go, Well, I I I, I got a CD upstairs. Why don't you come upstairs? There you go. And she's like, No. I, oh, I, I now can't. you've ruined the whole even come upstairs thing. But then I start panicking. I'm like, no, 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 no. Seriously, I have CDs upstairs. Why don't you just come upstairs with me? I'll, I'll get you a CD. Oh. She's like, I have to go my webmaster. I'm like, listen, because now I'm panicking. I'm like... You blew it. I'm, I, I blew it with regular chicks. Now I just blew with a fucking porn star. Right. Uh, this girl takes it in the ass. That's her specialty. That's her specialty. Yeah, That's exactly. the thing yeah, you yeah. do to put, you know... Milk on the table from Dwayne Reed. 
That's what you do. Right. But you, you played it wrong because she's a porn star. That's like walking up to Pacino going, dude, I got a bag of coke. You want to talk in a Cuban accent and do it with me? Right. You got to respect right. the fact that she's a person first. She's not in front of the camera, so she doesn't want to be treated like that. She right. needs a little sweet talk. But she's a fan. Regular fans would probably lick your ass. And she's a porn star fan. It's like, maybe we go up, I give you a CD, you're a fan, and I'm a fan of getting my ass licked. You probably could have gotten her up to the room yep. with the CD thing. And then once you're up there, you know, a, a drink or something into her, get her loose, and then go for the kill, you know? If you would have said, let's go, hey, thanks a lot, let's go for a drink, well, she probably would have went with you. You're trying to close the deal, like, without having to move your legs at all from the time you met her to closing the deal. You know, take a stroll to the room. But what am I going to do? Just go upstairs and then take my ass out? <laughs> right. Kiss her a little. Show her, right. Am I going to hand the CD in my ass cheeks? Oh, here you go. Pull your there pants you down go. before you you're, you're bend over to get the CD for her. Well, maybe she heard rumors about your ass and didn't want to go through... <laughs> Ew, what's wrong with his ass? We did hear that story once on the he, air. He, sure. he, he told this at a show one night. We're oh, doing Buffalo. Paper? Is that the, Buffalo? Or, it wasn't uh, toilet paper. No, it was in, I think it was in Buffalo. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's say hi to Lady Di on the phone. Yes, Lady Di. Oh, hey guys. How, how are you? Are you? How you doing? Did you get a job? Uh, well, no, not yet. No, not, not yet. yet. Look, I've been applying all over the place. You're uh, li Somebody oh. wants to talk to you. Hold on a second. Yeah, Can you hold on? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Really fast, Bob. I'm sorry. Who is it? Hey, yo. What's up? What's going on today? Why? What's happening, bro? Are you guys drinking? Drinking? Yeah. No. Just woke up. And what's the, the big music? Floyd again? Yeah, he this guy I'm loves his Pink, Pink Floyd. Floyd freak. What Floyd are you listening to today? Uh, I don't know. I got all mix, a whole mix. What? What is she whispering to you? What's that? What is what is this call about? Ted Lady died back. I don't this know. Time. She called up. I don't know. I just woke up. Dude, do us I a put favor. Pink Floyd on. You know, I'm Pink Floyd freak. Could you slap her in the face? How do you like the snow? Sucks, don't it? What? Is this what this call is about? Oh, I don't know, man. I have no clue. Well, what's I have going no on? clue why she Hold called on. up or what. Well, get her back on the phone. I got there her. I got the feedback. All right. It's All giving right, me. Brother. See you later. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Hey, guy. Lady Die. Yes. We found someone to take your place, so just stop calling us now, okay? It's over. Yeah. We, we have the cricket. It's not over. We have Don't the say that. That's the only reason I took the call. We got the cricket from Washington D.C. She will now be taking your place. Because we're Who trying to be taking my place. This uh, this girl named the cricket. She's really funny, and she no. I, she actually brings something to the show. So I just want to say goodbye to you. It was fun. All right. Had a good few years. Had a good couple uh, years, but bon know. voyage. Good luck in your future endeavors. Yeah, uh, yeah come oh, on. we'll see you guys again. Come on. You know what you should do? You should run naked across Route 46 and head first into a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Route 46 is. I know oh, you don't. Route 46. You fat burden. You have nothing to add to society or our radio show. So good luck to you. You know what? You know what is 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 a, a nicer thing to hear than your voice inches from your face. Apparently, a train. No, yeah, so that is what, not true. So what happened yeah. to the, the father of your kid again? What did I tell you? We're not going to talk about that. What happened to the father of your kid? Why did he decide to, to kiss a train? Well, first of all, he was not living with me. So that's fine. What? Why did he kiss a train? I have no clue. I have no idea. And, and he you left... You know, I, I was not there with him. He left your son fatherless. Yes, you were. There was steam coming out of your head, and you were Boy, headed you down sure the track. you sure beat things to the ground, don't you, Opie? Uh, yes, I do. Because, yes, you do. Because it's, now, it's listen this, to me. Listen to that's me. That's the only reason to have you on the air. You're, you're, the husband of your kid decided to kill himself. He, he was never my husband. Uh, well, uh, the, we never got married. Uh, well, the father of your kid decides to kill himself. He actually stood and waited for a train to take Nobody him out. Else will. Hold on one second. What? Oh. Are you there? Give us the details of the story. The details is he was living with someone else, okay, and um, he just decided to uh, end his life. I don't know. Jump on the train I have track. I to do huh? with this. Were there any signs? Were there any signs of what? That he yeah, railroad didn't want to live? <laughs> no, because first of all, this only happened in 2001, and second of all, we've been separated 
since 1991. My son was only about maybe one or two years old. Yeah. There you go. That's did, all I could say. Did he do it on purpose, or did he trip over a treadmill by the train tracks? I have no clue. Did he trip over a treadmill? No. He did not trip over a treadmill. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. That's all I'm going to tell you. Well, what else is there to tell us? Well, that, you know, what else can I say? All I know is that when this happened, he was not living with me. Ring, 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 ring. Banana brain. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to Bob. Sorry, Guns. Bob. We're, we've been trying to get to the bottom of that story for a while. What, her husband, husband's dead? It wasn't her husband. Like, I don't know, the dude, like, got her knocked up. They had a kid together, and then, I don't know. The he kid held was a like rock over her head? What happened was the guy woke <laughs> up one morning and saw what he had slept with the night before. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, she's pregnant, she has a kid, and the guy, 10 years later, jumped in front of a train, so we're trying to figure out what happened. He jumped in front of a train? Yeah, or walked in front of one. Jesus. Or he might have, like, uh, I don't know, skipped. Trips. Might have skipped. Yeah. Why, she, is, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Lady Di, have you? Uh, is she ugly? She's not bad. I mean, she. It's Oliver Hardy. Watch <laughs> Oliver Hardy from Laurel and Hardy, and it is Oliver Hardy. With tits of the same size? No, same as size, exactly same body, same face, same hair, everything. My husband went in front of a train. <laughs> he was annoyed with my antics and had to <laughs> kill himself. <laughs> oh. He'd rather take a locomotive than a pie in the face. Uh, what an awful thing. Fiddling with her blubber on her neck like it was a necktie. <laughs> I have to go find a job so I may get my son back. Choo-choo, there goes my husband, dead. Mm. Holy shit. Oh, what a Where? mess. She is awful. Wait, how the fuck? Uh, that mustache. Uh, we, just, we pencil in a mustache on her it, to a T. Give her a derby hat. That's all. Oh, God, we should have gotten the they derby. Did actually, they did paint a mustache on. That used to be my favorite mm, thing yeah. in the old show when she would walk in and that awful uh, uh, Laurel and Hardy music would play. Oh, would it would start playing. It's hysterical. Time. The visual, is, it's amazing. She looks just like him. Can you get a picture of her for Bob? Is it possible? Yeah. yeah. Is she really? I, I, don't, I like fat chicks, though. Oh, Not this one, you know. nah, this I've been with some pretty fat chicks, man. She's a flat so. <laughs> she's got like the fat, but the boobs didn't get fat ah, too. Yeah. She's not proportionately she's fat. Just a big mess, that yeah. greasy straight hair that you'd expect to well, see on got, a mongoloid bomber in Iraq. She's got to throw mama from the train uh, well, hair. It's actually uh, now real throw stringy. husband in front of train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> throw husband in front of train. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? We'll finish the show with Bob Kelly. Excuse me, my good man. When does the next train come through? <laughs> we'll play the Paralyzed song before we get out of here. Okay. And it's also, a, uh, hookers are getting uh, caught that advertise on Craigslist I as know. well. They're dumb. We'll try to like squeeze a lot of stuff in in the last break. All right. But first... Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Bob Kelly in the studio. Yes. A few things to get to before we get out of here for today. Lady died back on the phone. Ah. Oh, hold on. Before we go to the phone, I have to do something here. Hold on a minute. Jump in front of a train. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Move it up, it up. Oh, oh, Move it up, it up. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Here we go with the banana phone. Uh, didn't you didn't you get your banana phone turned off for not paying the bill? <laughs> no, I did not get my Ugh. banana phone turned off for not paying the bill. Right, I die. paid the bill. Way Wait. to improv. Just repeat the joke. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no. Lady Di, here's the new bit with you, okay? We're going to start the train sound effect. We're going to give you, I don't know, uh, less than a minute to say something that uh, that is worth listening to if you're paying for this stupid radio program, Okay. Okay. So, uh, here, here comes the train. All right, here comes the train. Say whatever you want. I love you guys, and I will love you for a long time. There, here comes the train. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Here we go. Bye, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, there's another loved one. Oops.
got nothing. <laughs> oh. It would sound like that if a train hit her. <laughs> oh, big wreck. Ugh, she had nothing. I've actually done girls bigger than her. Oh, yeah, Bob Kelly's taking a look at her. Really? I swear to God, I actually did a girl so big, I was on top of her in the bed, and both my knees didn't touch the bed. <laughs> it was like fucking an upside-down canoe. <laughs> It was. I was in Houston. It was a black chick, and oh. it was. I had to stay an extra night, and we, I went to the movies with all these black girls in Houston. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. And this one big black. How'd you chick. hook up with them? Well, they were just taking me out. I was there with Tracy Morgan, yeah. and I had to stay an extra night because of the flight. So the next day, they took me to a barbecue chort church. Yeah. And you know, oh, it, was, it was all this southern stuff, and take me out of the black parts of town. How'd you know they wanted to take you out? Did they call you? Yeah, they called me up, oh, okay. and then I went to the movies. And this this chick had a sundress on. It oh, <laughs> oh my dare. god! Don't and she dare. she what? called me up on the phone. She goes, "What she you called you on the phone?" Yeah, in my room. She goes, "What you doing?" <laughs> and then she started singing this song. Ring 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 banana phone. Ring 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 banana phone. <laughs> she sang that song. <laughs> That's okay. how I got her back to the room. <laughs> I had a banana phone. <laughs> All right, so she calls you up once you go to the movies. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, so I got this. Yeah. She called me on the phone. She goes, would you? <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. <laughs> so she, what? You tw I see your finger on the button, you <laughs> fucking twat. <laughs> Uh, All right, go ahead. I'm break sorry. your little thin Cassidy fingers. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'll kick your dog. <laughs> so she just called me up. She got the song coming. Ring, 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 banana phone. Can you please get through the story? We're running uh, out of show. No. Opie, I, we, I'd rather take polka chips to the face <laughs> than this goddamn song. All right, oh. go ahead. So she just called me up. <laughs> oh, no. And she said, "What you?" <laughs> she goes, "She goes, what, she goes, this is what you? What you doing?" <laughs> I swear yeah. to God, she goes, "What you doing?" I said, "Nothing." She goes, "You want me to come over?" Ooh. I went, "Sure." Two seconds later, I was knocking my door. She called me from her cell phone. Outside the door. I had a bag. Phone? I had a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. In my room, as she walks in, sits down, grabs the Cool Ranch, yeah, starts eating them. I'm just lying there petrified, and I had those pull-away sweatpants. Yeah. So she basically started grabbing my conk with one hand, eating Doritos, eating Doritos with the other. <laughs> I got a hard on. I'm just lying there, still as a fr just just lying there, not moving. Then she just grabs my sweatpants and rips them off like a silverback gorilla. Jesus. What? And she. Stop. Uh, well, all right, whatever. You gotta put some emphasis into the story. You're starting to phone it in. So. <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. Oh. Ring, 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 banana phone. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. I don't know. All these think villages sound the same to me. <laughs> 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 My foot can't. It won't stop tapping. <laughs> so she's eating Doritos. I, I, I really. I, I'm gonna let you kick my dog. So she just. I just got on top of her, and I almost. I almost fell off. How much did you, do you think she weighed? She probably weighed over three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but over I was in three. Houston. It was Houston on a that Saturday means. stayover. Like you're on you know, Mars where they're lighter. What are you going to do? You're in Houston. So what? It's 300 pounds? Her tit was so big, I had to hold it with two hands. <laughs> and I actually, this is the only time in my life I she was blowing me, and I actually stopped her. I went, I can't do this. I actually got morals. Shoot up Doritos scraping you? <laughs> it was just the size of her areola was the size of my head. Did you, have, did you have to take your two hands to make it look like a boob? <laughs> just leave so, a little poke out the thumb and the yeah, index they're, they're fingers. so flat that you got to shape your own boob for yourself. <laughs> it was wow. huge. <laughs> yeah, uh, breasts. That's my arm. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was just a great story. Thanks. Oh, uh, Jesus. That, that was really good.
Oh, what are you going to do? I've been with a lot of fat girls in my life, Lynn. Then we got audio of Hillary Swank talking about how she took a CPR class. Yeah. And then what? Why is that good? She's bragging about how she uh, had this dream that she was meant to save somebody's life, so she took a CPR class so that it would happen. And then she went to do CPR and didn't work. Oof. Your hand off, my hand off your mule. Thanks. What were you... I had Buddy my hand here. on the chair, and he just just put his cock right against it and was talking to the microphone. <laughs> he was just, well, good move to patiently tell him instead of just moving your hand away. <laughs> I, I, I was taught in an emergency Would to relax please? and stay calm and rub a guy's mule if you have to. Would you please rock back and forth yeah. until... Bob knows that Eric uh, is known to talk a lot, so he figured he would just enjoy himself. Yeah, just, just feel his banana phone for a little while. You may not I was see. dreaming a lot that I was going to have to um, save someone's life. And I thought, well, I'm not going to ignore this dream anymore. And I got certified in CPR. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd say three months after that, someone collapsed in an airport. He had had a heart attack and wasn't getting, he was dying. So I just administered CPR and told the paramedics could get there. We didn't live. Oh. And then I got his heart going and... I mean, I kept, I didn't get his heart going, but I acted as his heart, mm -hmm. pumping his chest. Maybe you should stop oh. dreaming, you bitch. Jesus. Oh, maybe you should just get on your plane. <laughs> right. Just walk. Get on your plane. Get on your plane at Teterboro and hit a building, you melodramatic <laughs> whore. Shut up. <laughs> she, she takes the... <laughs> Jesus, that's pretty epic. Funny. That's what you want while, when you're when you're going out is to look up and think, oh, hey, great, Hillary Swank's got to save my life. Yeah, next time take a sleeping pill and leave the saving to Grace, others. Jesus, I didn't live. Yeah, maybe there was somebody that was more capable that looked and went, well, she seems to have things in hand. Yeah. It's Hillary Swank. <laughs> Boys don't cry. Apparently, they don't know CPR either, do they, stupid ass? <laughs> Oh, I tried CPR, but I didn't notice he was choking. <laughs> oh, we don't have time to play this. Oh, uh, the hooker's getting caught. We'll have to save for tomorrow. Ooh. Can I just say that I really stunk today, but it's, it's not my fault. I like your story. Hang no, on one second. Hang on one second. Uh, I thought I was coming in here to talk about the midgets. Oh, right. We have midget oh, audio that we haven't God. gone to for a while. Yeah, we haven't gotten to that. Remember that midget thing? Right. Right? The midget special. Now you remind us? Well... Uh, how am I? It's your show. Dude, I, we're stupid. You should have sat out there and told someone that's the reason you were here. I thought you were here to tell that stupid five-minute story. We get you in, you tell your story, and you get out of here. No. I didn't I didn't know I was telling a story. Then I was all pressured, and I'm coming up with all my... I fuck, I banged this, a fat chick. And honestly, I was confused when Ben called me. He's like, uh, Bob Kelly's coming in tomorrow. I'm like, for what? Then I'm thinking, well, I, there was that funny story at the Brooklyn Diner. Oh, all right. I forgot it was about the midgets, so I now you have to come back. Uh, I'm the midgets. You want to come back? Um. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I want to do? This is what I want. This is what I like. Like, there's things I want Hang to on. do, too, but you're not going to let me uh, kick your dog. Hang so. on one second. Just call me when you want to call me. I don't like this pressure you shit. Got it. You got well, it. You brought you got me got in. And I got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. Uh, Opie and his goddamn finger. He's son of a uh, bitch. How do you get to it I, so quick? I really did forget that uh, you were c coming in here to talk about the midget stuff. I yeah. really did, so I apologize. It's all right. All right. So when do you want to come back? Um, uh, well, no, you know what? Well, no, LP, because you have that little LP. Satan. LP. Oh, LP. <laughs> that was Anthony LP. and LP. I both of them LP. together. It's LP. LP. <laughs> LP Summers. When it comes to fruition, uh -huh. just let me come back. <laughs> That's right. a... All right. LP. I'll LP. come back whenever I get a call. You know, I'm right down the street. You just right. call me in when there's nothing going on. Whenever it comes to nutrition. When you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, let's play What Did We Learn on the Opie and Anthony Show. It's Rob on Long Island. Rob, go ahead. How you doing, guys? Good. How you doing, El Hacko? I'm very good. El Hacko. That was a little mean spirited and hurt. You have a chubby disaster in there. Oh, that shows you where my self esteem is. <laughs> yeah, I learned that uh, Punks Tony Delgado just wrote another tsunami song. Yeah. It was yeah, good. okay. I got to go pop my dick. I'll see you guys. All right. <laughs> oh, remember that? Pinchy from Cleveland. Uh, hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, hey, man. Hey, hi, Sugar Bear. Hi. Hey, I learned. Uh, the last time I saw a retarded bomber was Voss on Last Comic Standing. <laughs> Very good. Let's go to Tony in New Hampshire. Tony. Yeah, I learned that when Opie doesn't get his milk, he gets cranky. Yeah, that was a little rough. I did learn that. Jason from New Hampshire again. 
Today I learned that comedians at the end of the show don't have a high IQ because they keep saying they call me on the phone. What? Uh, we need the, the, the uh, car crash. Mike from New York. Mike? I'm on. Listen to this ass. <laughs> it's listening to the radio. Watch, it'll all sudden say hi. Uh, delay. Great. Watch. No? Hey there, I learned Ah, you asshole. You're a dick tool. You listen to the delay until we say hi on delay, and then you answer the phone. What an ass. You dummy. Yeah, go, oh. listen to the, the, the replay to hear how stupid you are. Right around uh, 155 today Eastern Time, you'll find out how stupid you really are. You're here a complete jackass. <laughs> it's, it's you. Jeremy from Kansas. I learned that opening and Anthony are shock jocks. Shock jocks, everybody. Shock jocks. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to Kenny. Kenny, what's up? Uh, today I learned um, ring, 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 ring. ring.